can turn the world on with her smile Who can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it With each glance and every little movement you show it Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and this is the 90s Guy Show. Now, I know there's been a lot of celebrity celebrities passing away in the last, you know, month and a half, two months. And I know people, the first thing a lot of them say is, well, they were just celebrities. They were you know why is it everybody gets so bent out of shape and so sad about celebrities passing away they're just people well I I get that I I understand that you know there's a lot of these people we never met before I never met David Bowie but I was a fan and appreciated his music same thing with Prince today Mary Tyler Moore um, passed away Due to complications with her diabetes, I believe. Um, basically, at the age of 80, she was diagnosed with uh, type 1 diabetes early in the early run of her show in the 70s, and has been she dealt with alcoholism, and she also went through an elective brain surgery in 2011 to remove benign meninoma. Um, she's known for her roles as Mary Richards in the 1970s TV show Mary Tyler Moore and also from 61 to 66 six, as uh, Laura Petrie on the Dick Van Dyke show. It's crazy to think that, I mean, granted, I didn't watch the show when it first came on the air. I watched it at Nick at Night uh, during the mid-90s and stuff like that. But uh, her primary health issues was her uh, diabetes. She was also a huge animal rights activist and uh, educator about diabetes. She, she wanted to help people understand the disease and help people uh, know that it doesn't have to control your life. Um, basically, uh, you know, she was an all-around good person from what I understand. I mean, I didn't know her personally. I was a fan of the show. The show basically consisted of her working as, an, at a, as a uh, newscaster at a news station very good show I thought um, it was definitely something different I'm not exactly sure but um, I believe you know during the 70s you started to see a lot of roles of women being played on television as being single and you really didn't see that before that so it's kind of crazy uh, the show would go in on to win an Emmy Award for outstanding comedy to add to its awards that it won in 1975 and 1976 the program held the record for winning the most Emmys 29 and it remained unbroken until 2002 when the NBC sitcom Frasier won its 30th Emmy um, basically the Mary Tyler Moore show became a touch point of the women's movement because it was the first show to, to, to display a woman in an independent working way. So it's, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, it's so common nowadays, but during the 70s and even before, it was something different. It was something you didn't see a lot. 
She was also heavily involved in the theater. She starred in a new musical version of The Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1966. She was just an all-around, uh, you know... Oh, I did, also, I almost forgot to, to put this. She also starred opposite of Elvis Presley in a, in a movie called Change of Habit, which I did not know. <laughs> I learn new things every day. But uh, anyways, um, another great actor, activist, all-around good person is gone. Um, she passed away at the age of 80 years old today. I'm sorry I'm so scatterbrained, but uh, it's hard for me to really put into words um, how many people are going to miss her and still appreciate the work that she had put into the um, entertainment industry. So anyways, uh, thank you for listening. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all later.